Deep in the Shoria Mountains of southern Siberia, a secret has been hidden for thousands of years. In this remote wilderness, far away from civilization, a discovery was made that could change our understanding of human history. In 2013, a team of 19 researchers led by Georgi Sidorov set out on an expedition to explore Gornaya Shoria, a mountain pass that rises 3,600 feet above sea level. Now, this part of Russia was once hard to access, with checkpoints in place during the Soviet era. The expedition started after reports surfaced about unusual megalithic objects in the area. When the team arrived, they were stunned by what they found. They discovered a massive structure that seemed to be a gigantic supermegalith, so mysterious that it challenged what we know about human history. The Gornaya Shoria megaliths, as they became known, were made up of enormous stone blocks that looked like granite, featuring flat surfaces and right angles. Even more astonishing was the estimated weight of these stones, which was over 3,000 tons. This makes the Gornaya Shoria megalith the largest megalithic stones ever found. The way the granite rocks were arranged suggested that someone had a plan behind it. They were carefully stacked on top of each other, reaching about 140 feet high. The sheer size of these stones raised one big question. How did the people carve, transport, and put together such massive blocks in such a remote and tough area? According to Sidorov's notes, these structures are around 100,000 years old, which pushes back what we know about human architecture by tens of thousands of years. Now, this finding was not just surprising. It changed everything we thought we knew about early civilizations. Georgi Sidorov and his team were amazed by the sight of this massive structure. Discovering a monument like this, which had been hidden for ages, was incredible. It stood as a silent witness to the passage of time, and possibly to the rise and fall of a civilization we don't yet understand. Sidorov's notes and observations would be key to uncovering the mysteries of this intriguing site. The site of massive granite blocks stacked carefully into a wall of polygonal masonry hinted at an unexpected level of architectural skill for that time. Sidorov pointed out that the construction resembled other ancient megalithic sites, like Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids, but it had its own distinct characteristics. The comparison went beyond just size. It also involved the mystery surrounding the site's purpose and function. Sidorov noted that the dimensions of the structure were astonishing. The wall, as he called it, stretched about 700 feet long, with individual stones measuring around 65 feet in length and standing between 16 and 23 feet tall. These measurements highlighted a remarkable human achievement, something that seemed almost impossible considering the technological limitations of that era. Sidorov and his team explored different theories about where the structure came from. One leading idea was that it was built by an ancient civilization that had knowledge and technology far beyond what people had previously believed. This theory opened up many questions about what ancient societies were capable of and whether a sophisticated civilization had existed that history had forgotten about. Sidorov added to the mystery by noting that some of the stones had circular holes that were almost perfectly round. What stood out even more was that parts of the stones looked like they'd been melted or reshaped. Sidorov believed this could be due to some ancient method of rock fusion used on the wall. He also speculated that a powerful explosion, possibly thermonuclear, might have caused the large megalithic rocks to scatter around the area, as if they were blown away by a strong force. These observations raised more questions about what the structure was for and what happened to the people who built it. Sidorov also described other nearby structures, including a strange construction made of huge boulders standing upright on a massive foundation. Sidorov also shared that during their expedition, they experienced some strange events. The compasses of the entire team started acting up, randomly pointing away from the megaliths for no clear reason. This led to theories about a negative geomagnetic field in the area, possibly left over from some kind of ancient energy field. These kinds of geomagnetic anomalies aren't just found in Gornaya Shoria. Similar things have been seen in other ancient sites worldwide. This has sparked conversations about how ancient civilizations might have had a deeper understanding of Earth's magnetic fields and possibly knew how to use them in ways that we still don't fully understand. Sadly, bad weather cut Sidorov's exploration short, but the data they gathered still offered useful information about the ruins' size and layout. As the team left, the mystery only grew. The massive size and unknown origins of the Gornaya Shoria megaliths remained a puzzle with no clear answer. It raises the question, if these structures were built by humans and not naturally formed, how could such an advanced civilization exist in such a tough location, known for its harsh climate and brutal winters? 
Why would they choose to settle in such a challenging place? Wouldn't it have made more sense to move south to warmer areas? During the height of the last ice age, about 20,000 years ago, Siberia and much of the Northern Hemisphere went through major climate changes. Even though it was colder and ice sheets were spreading, conditions in Siberia were still better than in Europe and North America. Unlike those regions, Siberia wasn't completely covered by ice. The area was mostly made up of the Mammoth Steppe, a vast biome with cold, dry weather, but plenty of grasses and plants. This ecosystem was home to many large animals, like woolly mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and other big herbivores, along with the predators that hunted them. It provided enough resources for human populations to survive, giving them food and materials they needed. Archaeological findings, including tools and artifacts, show that humans lived in Siberia during the Ice Age. One of the most interesting discoveries was made by Russian scientists, who found a site from the last Ice Age where ancient hunters lived. They uncovered stone tools, ivory weapons, and the bones of animals like mammoths, bison, bears, lions, and hare all animals these hunters would have encountered during that time. Researchers used a method that measures carbon ratios to figure out that their artifacts found at the site are about 30,000 years old. Now, this makes them roughly twice as old as the Monteverde in Chile, which is considered the oldest known evidence of human life in the Americas. Donald Grayson, a paleoanthropologist from the University of Washington, pointed out that the discovery is especially important because it's much earlier than any other known proof of people living in the cold regions of Siberia. At the same time, much of northern Europe was covered in thick ice sheets, making large areas unlivable. The ice restricted how far people could move and what resources they could access. Human settlements were mainly found in southern parts of Europe, which, while not covered in ice, were still cold. These areas became safe zones for both humans and animals, but the resources there were limited compared to the mammoth steppe of Siberia, which was much more plentiful. If the Siberian megaliths were built during the Ice Age, it would mean that the people who made them were part of a society that not only survived in the cold, but thrived. The mammoth steppe had enough resources to support larger populations, allowing them to take on big projects like building these structures. The discovery of the Gornaya Shoria megaliths has also sparked new interest in alternative history theories. Some researchers have wondered if there was a civilization before a great flood, a highly advanced society that was wiped out by a major event in early history. This idea fits with global myths and stories about advanced societies that disappeared in mysterious ways. Interestingly, despite the importance of the Gornaya Shoria site, no further research or archaeological work has been done there. The fact that there hasn't been more investigation into this site raises some questions and adds to the mystery surrounding these stones. The Russian Federation officially claims that these megalithic structures are just natural formations. But without a full archaeological study, how can we be sure that these massive, unusually shaped stones were formed naturally? Many people are skeptical, pointing out the precise angles and perfect arrangement of the stones. They argue that the site looks a lot like other man-made megalithic sites around the world. Now, we can't completely rule out the idea that these megaliths might be traces of a lost civilization or a forgotten part of human history without a deeper investigation. Now, what could we learn from a proper excavation of these stones? Could they be connected to ancient human activity? Or are they just an unusual natural formation? If it turns out humans were involved, the impact could be huge. It might challenge parts of what we know about history, giving us new insights into how far ancient civilizations reached and what they were capable of. It could also challenge what we understand about the skills and knowledge our ancestors had when it came to building and technology. The mystery of the Gornaya Shoria megaliths continues to stir curiosity, not just for their structures themselves, but for the broader implications they hold for our understanding of human history. While we've only scratched the surface of this mystery, the questions it raises compel us to explore other intriguing archaeological sites around the world that share similar characteristics. For instance, consider the Yonaguni Monument in Japan, an underwater structure that has captivated researchers and enthusiasts alike. Discovered in 1987 off the coast of Yonaguni, this submerged formation consists of massive stone terraces and steps that seem to be meticulously arranged. Some believe it's a remnant of an ancient civilization, while others argue that natural geological processes could explain its peculiar shape. The debate continues, drawing attention from divers, historians, and geologists who want to uncover its secrets. If the Yonaguni Monument is indeed a man-made structure, it would challenge what we know about human migration and cultural development in prehistoric times. 
In a similar vein, the ancient site of Puma Punku in Bolivia raises fascinating questions about the capabilities of early civilizations. The site, which is part of the Tiwaniku complex, is known for its massive stone blocks, some weighing over 100 tons, intricately carved with precise edges. What's particularly baffling is that these rocks were transported from a quarry located several miles away, situated at a higher elevation. How did the people of Pumapunku manage to move such enormous stones with the tools available at the time? The level of engineering skill demonstrated here suggests a sophistication that seems out of place in the context of the era. Researchers have proposed various theories regarding the construction of Pumapunku, ranging from advanced knowledge of levers and pulleys to the possibility of lost technologies that enable such feats. While some lean towards the idea that these civilizations had more advanced techniques than previously thought, others suggest that outside influences could have played a role. The idea of a widespread ancient civilization, connected through trade and knowledge sharing, is an enticing prospect that resonates with findings from various sites around the world. Meanwhile, the stone spheres of Costa Rica present yet another intriguing puzzle. Discovered in the 1930s, these perfectly spherical stones vary in size and are scattered across the Diquis Delta. The purpose behind their creation remains unclear, with theories ranging from their use as markers of territory to symbols of power or wealth. The craftsmanship involved in shaping these stones with such precision suggests a level of skill that challenges our understanding of the artisans behind them. Despite numerous investigations, the exact origin and purpose of the spheres are still shrouded in mystery, echoing the unanswered questions posed by the Gorneashoria megaliths. Then there's the Nazca Lines in Peru, a series of geoglyphs etched into the desert floor, depicting various animals and shapes. These massive drawings can only be fully appreciated from the air, leading to speculation about their purpose. Were they made for the gods above, or were the astronomical calendars marking celestial events? The complexity and scale of these lines are astonishing, hinting at a society with significant organizational skills and knowledge of their environment. The fact that these lines have endured for centuries, despite the harsh climate of the region, speaks to their ingenuity of their creators. However, much like the Gornaya Shoria megaliths, the mystery remains, who were these people, and what motivated them to create such grand designs? As we delve into these mysteries, we should also consider the significance of Gobleki Tepe in Turkey. Often referred to as the world's oldest known temple, this archaeological site dates back to around 9600 BCE. What's striking about Gobleki Tepe is that it predates Stonehenge by thousands of years. The site features massive T-shaped pillars adorned with intricate carvings of animals and symbols, hinting at a complex belief system among its creators. The implications of such a site are profound, as it challenges the notion that agriculture was necessary for development of sophisticated societies. Instead, it raises the possibility that religion and communal activities may have driven social organization before the advent of farming. The discoveries at Gobleki Tepe compel us to rethink the timeline of human history. What were these ancient people capable of? What social structures were in place that allowed for such monumental architecture? The site serves as a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the civilizations that came before us and the mysteries that lay buried beneath the earth. Similarly, the Great Pyramids of Giza continue to captivate imaginations with their grandeur and precision. Built over 4,500 years, these monumental structures were the tombs of pharaohs and remain a testament to ancient Egyptian engineering prowess. Yet many aspects of their construction remain unresolved. How were these massive stones quarried, transported, and assembled? Theories range from the use of ramps to advanced tools that have since been lost to history. The enduring fascination with the pyramids lies not only in their scale, but also in the mysteries surrounding their construction. Could it be that the ancient Egyptians possessed knowledge that we have yet to discover? In the search for answers, we often look to indigenous legends and oral histories. Many cultures have passed down stories of lost civilizations, advanced technologies, and catastrophic events that reshaped the world. These narratives may hold clues to understanding ancient mysteries. For instance, the Dogon people of Mali have long spoken of Sirius, a star system that's invisible to the naked eye. Their knowledge of Sirius B, a companion star to Sirius A, predates this discovery by modern astronomers, raising questions about how this ancient society acquired such knowledge. Could they have had contact with advanced beings, or did they possess insights into the cosmos that we are only beginning to understand? 
As we piece together the puzzle of our shared past, the mystery of the Gornayashoria megaliths serves as a compelling reminder of the complexity of human history. Each archaeological discovery uncovers layers of knowledge, connecting us to civilizations that have long since vanished. In addition to the Gornaya Shoria megaliths, Yonaguni Monument, Puma Punku, Stone Spheres of Costa Rica, the Nazca Lines, Gobleki Tepe, and the Great Pyramids, there are countless other sites worldwide that warrant exploration and curiosity. The mysteries of these places invite us to reconsider our understanding of human achievement, technology, and the intricate tapestry of our history. Take the ancient city of Machu Picchu, for example, nestled high in the Andes Mountains of Peru. This site showcases the architectural prowess of the Inca civilization. Its precise stonework, terraces, and sophisticated water management systems reflect an understanding of engineering that allowed them to thrive in a challenging environment. The fact that it remained hidden from the outside world until the early 20th century adds to its allure, prompting questions about how many other such sites remain concealed in the jungle, waiting to be rediscovered. As we think about the rich tapestry of human history, it's essential to remain open to new discoveries and interpretations. The mysteries we uncover may reshape our understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Each new finding is an opportunity to learn, to question, and to explore the connections between past civilizations and our modern existence. The Gornaya Shoria megaliths are more than just ancient stones. They symbolize the endless quest for knowledge and understanding. They remind us that there's much more to learn about our past and that, in the face of uncertainty, curiosity is our greatest tool. As we continue to explore the wonders of archaeology, we might find that the mysteries we uncover will lead us to unexpected insights about humanity, technology, and the nature of civilization itself. The quest for answers about ancient civilizations is not just about bricks and stones. It's about the people who created them. The motivations, beliefs, and knowledge systems of these cultures are woven into the very fabric of their constructions. Each stone tells a story, not just of what was built, but of the people who came together to create something greater than themselves. So as we ponder the possibilities surrounding the Gornaya Shoria megaliths and other mysterious sites, we invite you to engage with the story of our past. What do these ancient wonders reveal about the capacity for human ingenuity and creativity? How do they challenge our assumptions about history and civilization? These are questions worth exploring, as they keep the spirit of inquiry alive. As we continue to investigate these mysteries, we also celebrate the curiosity that drives us to seek knowledge. Whether through rigorous scientific methods or the exploration of ancient stories, the journey toward understanding is what makes us human. It connects us to those who walked the earth before us, fostering a sense of shared heritage that transcends time. So, do you think that this site is a natural formation, or could it possibly be the work of a long-lost advanced civilization? Share your thoughts below and we'll see you in the next video.